Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNP T-Shoot and Switch video practice exam for you today with a little bit of route on the side. So definitely something for everyone here today. I'm going to present you with three practice exam questions. All of them, as always, are the dreaded select all that apply because that is great uh, practice for us for the real thing. And I'm going to use live Cisco routers to illustrate the answer to at least one of the questions. So we'll get some lab work in here as well. Let's go ahead and jump to the first question. You're configuring HSRP interface tracking and you do not specify the decrement. So first off, we got to know what the heck that means, right? What is the net result? Will the tracking config not work? Will it work? Will it use a default decrement of 10? Will it use a default decrement of 0? Or, as we've seen so many times on live equipment, if you leave out a required value, will the router not allow you to even configure this feature without specifying the decrement? Okay, a lot of stuff going on there. We're going to hop to the next question, but if you need to pause the video to take a little extra time, that's fine with any of the questions. Now, by default, HSRP Group 24 is going to be assigned what MAC address? A, none. You've got to configure it. B, HSRP groups don't have MAC addresses because they run at layer 3. C, not enough information is given to answer the question. Don't you hate those on an exam? But I like to throw them in every once in a while. It's good practice. D, 00000C07AC18. E, none of the above. A lot going on in that question. Now let's have a good old-fashioned troubleshooting question here. This is a classic. You've probably seen this in a lab. Spoke routers in your EIGRP network are not receiving routes advertised by other spokes. There's only one hub, and that hub uses only one physical interface to reach all the spokes. Which of these exact commands will allow the spokes to get the, no de excuse me, to get the desired results? A, no IP split horizon. B, passive interface. C, no IP EIGRP poison reverse, and D, none of the above. So let's see if we got any, I don't think we have any tricky questions here, but definitely some details here that you got to watch out for. And first off, with HSRP interface tracking, definitely a feature of HSRP that you've got to be very familiar with for your route and your, excuse me, your switch and your T-shoot exams. The net result is that B, the tracking config will work because you don't have to specify the decrement because the other correct answer is C, the default decrement of 10 is used. Now you can optionally change that, but again, if you don't specify it, it will work and it will use the default decrement of 10. Now HSRP group 24 will be assigned what MAC address? And you have been given enough information to answer the question and the information is right there, 24. And the correct answer is D. Now, where in the world am I pulling this MAC address out from if I'm given a group number of 24? Well, the first five parts of the MAC address, those are reserved for HSRP. So 00000C07AC, we know that's correct. But where in the world am I getting that 18 from? The key here is that your group number, which I'm referring to in decimal here, is going to be in hex when the MAC address comes up. So don't let that throw you because you're looking at 18. It's like, oh, the crap did it come up with 18? Well, in hex, you know, let's take the decimal 24 and walk through that real quick. If you have the decimal 24, you have one unit of 16, and then that has a leftover of 8, a remainder of 8, and that's where you get the 8 from. So it's just 1 8 just like that. That is the hex equivalent of the decimal 24. Make sure that you've brushed up on your hex uh, before you take these exams, the CCMP exams, that is. Now, spoke routers in your EIGRP network aren't getting routes advertised by other spokes. The second part of the question, there's only one hub, and that hub uses one physical interface to reach all the spokes. That tells us what the problem is right there. It's split horizon, right? It's one of the first things you learned about when it comes to routing uh, in your CCNA studies. But a little bit of a red flag here when I ask which of these exact commands would allow the spokes to get the desired routes. Now, actually, the answer is D, none of the above. 
And you got to watch this because anytime you see anything, frankly, to do with EIGRP, the command is probably going to require you to specify EIGRP and the EIGRP AS in question. And let me show you on the live equipment exactly what the heck I'm talking about here. Router 1 is our hub, and what we want to do is deactivate Split Horizon for EIGRP on the Serial Zero interface. So, I'll simply go on the interface. Oops. Let's try that again. Serial zero, thank you. No IP split horizon. And notice that that is a legal command by itself. We see the CR here, but the key is for EIGRP, you got to specify it. So what I would do here is enter EIGRP and then have to put the autonomous system number. So that is what does the full job for us. So not trying to be tricky there with you uh, or fool you. I just want to remind you that with EIGRP related commands, you need to use iOS help and go out and see the entire command because it, there are plenty of authentication. Some authentication is the same way. You've got to specify EIGRP and the autonomous system number as well. Just something to look out for. Now speaking of hacks, in August 2012 I'm going to release a free book for the Kindle uh, and every Kindle app under the sun and we'll get to the other uh, readers as well. But I'm going to have a free hex book out there primarily for my CCNA Bulldogs, but you CCN peers need to grab it too. I'll have some other free ebooks for you as well, and all of our materials will be Kindle and Kindle app and iPad friendly uh, probably by the end of September as it looks right now with the CCNA material. But I invite you to join me out on Twitter, on YouTube, on our blog, and Facebook as well, because as each book is ready, free and otherwise, uh, we're going to announce it there, and none of the books are going to be over $9.99, so it's a fantastic value for you as well. Thanks for taking today video practice exam. I'm Chris Bryant, and as always, thanks for making TBA part of your CCNP success story.